Smart Collar Virtual Fencing System. eShepherd allows you to fence and move and monitor your cattle from anywhere, anytime, 24 7. So, how does it work? There are two elements to the system there is a GPS enabled collar that is worn by every cattle, every cow, every animal, and there is a, a base station. This is not the base station, but this resembles the size of the base station that is would be connected um, to the internet and installed somewhere on the property. Like in the field, you mean, or at your house, or uh, probably on your house and the top of your barn. Like how far away would it have to be? It, uh, the range for the, the communication between the two is the, is 15 to 20 kilometers. So it can be on the top of a hill, it could be on the top of your barn, it just needs to be connected to the internet and it can be connected through um, cellular data or 3G or satellite connection. So it couldn't be 50 miles away and, and run it? 15 to 20 kilometers is where a range, depending on the terrain. Now if it's hilly and valleys and so on, we would suggest the base station be put at the top of the hill or you, if you need to or something, but generally that's sufficient to put it at the top of the hill. They can, yeah. Um, so how it works is, on your tablet or on your computer, you can draw a virtual fence. The GPS coordinates for that fence are relayed through the base station to the collar that the animal is wearing. The collars use patented training technology to move the cattle to the desired location. To show you. Yeah, to a desired location. <laughs> That's what you would see. So there's the fence, and there's each one of the animals um, that you can, which I'll come to in a second, you can see which direction they're facing and so on. If you want to move your cattle, you just change the location of the fence that's assigned to each collar. You can have multiple fences within a larger pasture area as well. So the Cattle are trained using a combination of audio cue and electrical pulse. So as the, the animal will hear an audio cue as it's approaching the virtual fence, if it continues to walk through the virtual fence, it will relieve, receive an electrical stimulus, which is kind of like, a, whoa, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go in a different direction. So if they can, um, the animal quickly learns to avoid this boundary just by the sound that they hear in the, from the collar. So the e-shepherd is based on animal behavior and also based on sound well, animal welfare principles. So one way to look at it, is to, one way to think about it is the animal hears the fence rather than sees the fence. So our trials have shown, and we've done, we're doing trials in Australia, we've done lots of trials over the past year, have, and we've done it in really different, diverse